Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to upgrade the hard drive in a late 2008 revision 15-inch MacBook Pro. We've already transferred our data and shut down, so all we need to do is close the lid and turn it over. Then we can begin. Once the machine has been turned over, use the latch on the bottom to release the battery cover, which can then be removed. Next, remove the battery by first pulling up on the tab to loosen it, then lifting it out. The hard drive is held into place by a plastic retaining bar that has a single Phillips screw. Loosen this screw, then lift out the retaining bar. You may now lift the hard drive out of its compartment. The SATA connection is along the left side and is easily removed by gently pulling it off the drive. Using your Torx T6 screwdriver, remove the four screw and mounts along the sides of the drive. Finally, gently peel the pull tab off the old drive so you can attach it to the new one. First, attach the four screw and mounts to your new hard drive. Next, attach the pull tab to the new drive. There should be enough adhesive left to allow it to stick. Attach the SATA connector to the new drive, then place it in the bay. You may need to adjust the drive's position slightly to make sure that the screw and mounts line up with their slots in the bay. Place the retention bar along the side of the drive like it was before, then tighten the Phillips screw. You may now put the battery back into place, followed by the cover. Make sure the latch is in the open position or the cover will not close. Once the cover is in place, closing the latch will close the lid as well, returning it to flush with the rest of the back surface. You may now flip your computer over, open it up, and turn it on. 